Isaiah 8 verse 18. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord have given me are for signs and wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth upon Mount Zion. We are sharing today on the miraculous dimension. Miracles are supernatural manifestation of God. And miracles are unusual, uncommon display of God's power in adverse situation. And today, around the world, many are experiencing the miracle power of God in the midst of confusion, in the midst of diseases, in the midst of a plague. Many of us are going to be sustained by the miracle hand of God. Raise our voice and confess today. Say, Lord, I believe in your miracles. I serve a God of miracles. I serve a God that performs awesome things because of the miracles of God. Our story is different in the midst of darkness, in the midst of plague, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of attack. We believe in the miracles of God. Raise our voice and begin to pray. Raise our voice and declare, Lord, we believe in your miracles. The miracles of sustaining, the miracle of provision. The miracle of good health, the miracle of defending your church. We believe in miracles of God. Well, mission family, we are going to see the miracle hand of God. Anywhere you are today, whether in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in America, the Caribbean, wherever you are, we stand to declare we serve a God of miracles and we are candidates of miracles. Joseph lived in the miraculous. He was born by a miracle and Joseph, you know the story how he was hated by the brothers and they threw Joseph in a pit and he survived. Joseph was sold as a slave in Egypt and he was in Potiphar's house serving as a slave. He survived the temptations, the persecution and he, he was in prison. But at the end of the story, the God of Joseph, the God of miracle, picked Joseph out in the time of trouble and raised him up. Say the name of Jesus. I believe this is my season. This is my hour. In the midst of confusion, in the midst of tumult, in the midst of hopelessness, the God of miracle, show yourself to me. The God of miracle, manifest yourself in me. The God of miracle, magnify the gift you have in me. Raise your voice and pray. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, God that kept Joseph alive will keep you alive. Joseph could not die in the pit. God will keep you alive. Joseph could not die in Potiphar's house. God will keep you alive. Joseph could not die in prison. God will keep your life. Joseph was raised up to be a solution in a time of crisis. This is the hour for the gifts in you to manifest. Oh my God. Hey, come back. Joseph did not die when he was sold as a slave. I cannot die. Joseph could not die when he was serving in Potiphar's house. I cannot die. Joseph did not die in prison. I cannot die because the word of the Lord for my life must come to pass. Say the name of Jesus. The word for my life must come to pass. I am a solution in the land. Raise your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the same God that saved Joseph, the same God that rescued Joseph from the pit, from slavery, from Potiphar's house, from prison, that same God will rescue you. The God of Joseph, the God of deliverance, the God of provision, the God of sustenance, the God that, that confirms his covenant. That is the God we serve in well mission. We stand today to declare, let miracles begin on your behalf. Let miracles begin on your behalf. Let miracles manifest in your home. We serve a God of miracles. Hallelujah. So the God of Joseph manifested his covenant word because Joseph got a dream. God gave Joseph dreams. Dreams of the future that no human being could stop those dreams. Say the name of Jesus. Because I carry dream. I carry destiny. Confess in the name of Jesus. I have a dream in me. I have a destiny. I'm a Joseph in my generation. I am the Joseph in this season. I am a solution in this season. God use me. 
Oh Lord, use me. Raise your voice and pray. The same God that used Joseph in Egypt, use us, oh God. You are a choosing vessel. You are a solution. The God of miracles use you in your home, in your family, in your job, in your neighborhood because you are alive in that family. Grace for your family. Hallelujah. I love this. So Joseph was sustained because of the miracle of God. God picked Joseph in a time of crisis and preserved him through the suffering until Joseph stepped into the time of testimony. Say in the name of Jesus, my eyes will see my testimony. I will stand in the house of the Lord with a testimony. At the end of this, I will come out better. Oh my God, at the end of this, I will come out blessed. Raise your voice and pray. Father, at the end of all the trouble, at the end of all the shutdown, at the end of all the plague, we are coming out blessed. We are coming out promoted. We are coming out in every area blessed. I bless your family, I bless your home, I bless your school, I bless your mind, I bless your resources, I bless your connections. Let God do some things on the ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Now Moses lived a life of miracles. You know how he was born? He was thrown by the, by the riverside and he survived. And God called him to challenge Pharaoh and he survived. Listen carefully. And Moses got a challenge. He stood by the Red Sea. It looked like there is no way forward. And God made a miracle. Say the name of Jesus. Today in the world, they look like there is no way out. But for me, I see a way. There will be a way out in Jesus' name. Raise our voice, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we see a way out in the midst of curfew. We see a way out in the midst of shutdown. We see a way out in the midst of confusion. We see a way out in the midst of disappointment. We see a way out at least that God's child, God's children cannot be stuck in life. Hey, hey, say this week, on the ground, God is looking for me. God is working on the ground for us. Raise your voice and confess, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my God is working on the ground for me. My God is working on the ground for me. Listen carefully. I speak to you today. While you complain, God is working for you. Why you don't know why, God is working for you. While you are worried around, God is working for you. Hallelujah. So God made a way for Moses and the Red Sea was divided. God made a way for God's children through the Red Sea. And they had to move to the wilderness for 40 years. Every day was a miracle. Manna came from heaven every day. Now listen, I want us to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, I will lack nothing. Listen carefully. But some people who don't know Christ, they are crying, they are desperate. I will not have food, I will not have job, I will not have money. But listen carefully. Say in the name of Jesus. I serve a God of miracle, a providence miracle. The God that opened the heavens and bless. Breakthrough will come. Hallelujah. Raise your voice and pray, declare, I lack nothing. Every day of my life, my God will supply every need in my life. Raise your voice and pray. We lack nothing. The goodness of God, we lack nothing. The provision of God, we lack nothing. The blessing of God, we lack nothing. The miracles of God, we lack nothing. In Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in America, in the Caribbean, hear the voice of the Lord. Get ready for miracle. I can hear in my spirit, God is doing something on the ground for you. Get ready for manna from heaven. Get ready for divine provision. Get ready for open doors. Get ready for new jobs. Get ready for increase. Get ready for provision. God will serve. will make your way. And God bless God's children in, in the wilderness. It looked like... There was no hope, but every day they got manna from heaven. 
I love this. Hallelujah, Lord. But listen, for 40 years, say 40 years, <laughs> 40 years, God kept them, their shoe did not outgrow them, you know, their dress could not outgrow them until finally Joshua and Caleb, the cross to the promised land. Say the name of Jesus, I will cross over this season with a testimony. I will go through this season with a testimony. Uh, listen, the world are counting number of, number of deaths every day that we know we are going through. We are crossing over to the promised land. Raise our voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, at the end of this season, we will look back and say, the Lord has been faithful. The Lord is awesome. The Lord is great. At the end of this plague, we will look back and say, God is holy. God deserves the glory. God is mighty. God is glorious. Jesus Christ, because of covenant, is a God of the miraculous. After this season, listen, after this is over, you will know God better. Say the name of Jesus. I will be sustained in abundance. I will be sustained with provision. I will be sustained with open heaven. I will be sustained with supernatural provision. I will be sustained with angelic miracles. I will be sustained with awesome breakthrough. Raise your voice and pray. Father, today we pray in the name of Jesus that every child of God at the sound of my voice, you will be sustained by miracles, hand of God. You are sustained in your job. Your job is sustained. Your home is sustained. Your marriage is sustained. Your spiritual life is sustained. Touch your hair. Not even one of your hair will perish. Yeah, that is God's word. Not even one of your hair will perish. Because you serve a God that is holy. I speak today, just touch your hair, touch your hair and declare not even one of your hair will perish. Yes, hear the voice of the Lord. Thus says the Lord to well mission, not even one of your hair will perish. Because we serve a God that is faithful, we serve a God that honors faithfulness, we serve a God that makes miracles, we serve a God that keeps his word, we serve a God that, that holds our right hand, he says he will never leave us nor forsake us. Yes. Hallelujah. Say the name of Jesus. After this season, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. After this season, I cross the promised land. After the wilderness is over, I enter the promised land. At the end of this season, I will see the goodness of God. The floodgates of heaven are open for you. Hear the voice of the Lord. At the end of this season, you will see the hand of God. God has good in mind. God has good intention. God has good intention. Say the name of Jesus. I'm a candidate. For the miracles of God. I'm a testifier of the miracles of God. Hey, I'm a living testimony of the miracles of God. My story will, will turn men to Christ because men will hear my story. Okay, raise your voice and pray. They can pray in tongues. Yam Baka Samuel. Hey, listen, hear the voice of the Lord. This is a setup for a miracle. Oh my God, this is a setup for a miracle. The hand of the Lord is upon you. The miracle of God is upon your life. This is a setup for testimonies. I can hear the sound of abundance of rain is falling. The blessings of God, the grace of God, the protection of God, the hand of God, the power of God. The, oh my God. God will bless you, family. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your grace, for your power, for protection, for sustaining us. Every day, miracle at the end of this story. We live to see your goodness, oh God. We give you praise. We give you worship. Just worship God. Just worship Him. We worship you, Jesus Christ, our Father. We honor you. We adore you for your grace, for your power, for your goodness, for your mercy. We magnify Jesus Christ that at the end of this, this time, we are coming out better. We are coming out stronger. Hey, look at my face. Listen, David face a bear, face a lion and kill them. 
In the name of Jesus, every lion, every bear against my sheep, against my destiny, against my job, against my family, against my children, every bear, every lion. Now listen, a lion came to attack the sheep of David and he fought with that lion and killed that lion. Now listen, say the name of Jesus. I face this enemy. I face this lion. I face this bear. I kill this bear. I kill this lion. Every, every agent to steal that which belongs to me in this season, I bind that power. Raise our voice and pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the thief comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. But listen, Jesus gave us power to face that thief. Hey, come back. You can pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Raise your voice and pray. Oh my God. Like David, I faced the lion and I killed that lion. Like David, I faced the bear and I killed that bear. No devil will steal that which belongs to you. Hear the voice of the Lord. No devil will steal that which belongs to you. Oh my God. I just feel this anointing here. I just feel this anointing here. No devil will steal that which belongs to you. Listen, David had to keep the father's sheep. A lion came to steal the sheep of David. David fought that lion and killed that lion. And a bear came to steal that which is other David's care. David fought that bear and killed it. Say the name of Jesus. No devil will steal that which belongs to me from your family. Your children, your job, your health, your peace. Raise your voice and pray. Look, right now, we stand as a family, well vision family in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in America, around the world. Listen, we decree the thief will not steal from us. Oh my God, come back, Kasayero. Banga do koso biara, barara kandobo koso, jibi kesabiara. I bind every lion. To steal that which belongs to you. I bind every bird that want to steal that which belongs to you. No devil will take your job from you. No devil take your money from you. No devil take your health from you. No devil steal your peace. No devil steal your sound sleep. No devil steal your happiness. I bind that devil will slay every lion, will slay every bird with the soul of the word of God. Hallelujah. You will not be, you will not get a minus at the end, you get a plus. You will not lose anything, you lose nothing. You lose nothing in the name of Jesus. Grace will protect that which belongs to you. That which the Father has given to you, nobody steals it from you. Hallelujah. So David faced Goliath and killed Goliath. And the armies of, of, of King Saul pursued David for so many years. And David faced the lion, he killed the lion. David faced the bear, he killed the bear. David faced Goliath, he killed Goliath. David faced the armies of Israel under King Saul. They could not get him. Say the name of Jesus. They cannot get me. They cannot get me. Say the name of Jesus. The locusts of the enemy cannot get me. The virus of the enemy cannot get me. The disease of the world cannot get me raise our voice and pray father in the name of jesus every army other king saul cannot get you i decree today the armies of king saul cannot get you young by akira hey no disease will get you no virus will get you no sickness will get you no antichrist can get you no agent of darkness can get you the blood of jesus the blood of Jesus around you. You are surrounded by the rock of ages. All the armies of darkness. The spiritual agents of wickedness. Moving in the air. Every, every spirit moving in the atmosphere. Every disease, every virus cannot get you in Jesus' name. I decree it cannot get you. Just raise up your right hand. Raise up your right hand and say the name of Jesus. I declare today, they cannot get me. They cannot get my household. They cannot get my family. In Africa, in Asia, in Europe, raise your voice and pray. Lord, today I come to decree 
in the name of Jesus, the armies of King Saul, the virus, the disease, whatever name you can call it, their powers are powerless. They could not get David, they will not get you. They could not capture David, they will not capture you. They could not kill David, they will not kill you. Grace upon you. There's a covering of grace over your life. Oh, come back, Sambia. And David became a singer, a worshiper. David began to sing songs in the midst of the battle. He was singing songs to God. Just whisper your voice and say, I give God all the glory. I give you the worship, oh Jesus Christ. I worship you, oh God. Nothing can close my mouth from praising my God. Nothing can close my mouth from giving Jesus Christ the praise. I give Jesus the glory. I give Jesus the worship. I give my God the honor. Listen, this is time to see the hand of God. This is time to worship your God. This is time to adore your God. Raise your voice wherever you are right now. Raise your voice and let's give God the glory. Raise your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Back can they be called Samuel. Jesus deserves the glory. For your victory, I give God the glory. For the testimony, I give God the glory. For the awesome things, I give God the glory. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus, for my life, for my family, for well mission family, for protection, for security, for life, for victory, for breakthrough, for every sustaining grace. I give God the glory. Let nothing stop me from praising God. So David wrote Psalms in the time of darkness. David wrote Psalms in the time when he was being pursued. David wrote Psalms, it was, his, it was worshiping his God in the midst of battle. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nothing will stop you from praising your God. Hallelujah. Daniel, listen, Daniel was cast in the lion's den. The lion could not kill Daniel. Daniel, friends, was cast in the fire, in the furnace. The furnace could not kill his friends. Listen carefully. Our God is alive. Say the name of Jesus. The same God of Daniel is my God. The same God of Meshach, Sedek, and Abednego is my God. The God that defends his people. Say, my God shall defend me. My God will defend me. My God will sustain me. My God holds my right hand. Confess it. My God will defend me. My God sustain me. My God protect me. My God holds my right hand. And the enemy of all, you come out of the fire without a smell of fire. I pray today. I thank you, Lord, for divine provision. I thank you, Lord. For financial provision. I will not lack money in this season. I thank you, Lord, for family preservation. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. This is Bishop Bonnie today from Maryland. And so happy to come to speak to you today. You know, God did something in my life on the 21st April 1984. I was a young student in Cameroon in a town called Ombe. I was attending the Ombe Technical College. And that 21st April 1984, I came from school to Mutengene and I went to a crusade that evening and I gave my life to Jesus. That was a turning point in my life, that 21st April 1984. And on the, the Sunday I got baptized and two years later, I received a call for ministry and I went to Bible college. It was a turning point in my life because there I got trained for ministry and by the grace of God, after two years, I was sent to pastor a church. And since then, that was 19, 1988, when I fully was sent to pastor a church, I've been preaching around the world. I've been preaching in Cameroon, Nigeria, Germany, Spain, Italy, UK, name it, Belgium, you know. I've gone around the nation, and presently, I live in Maryland, have a church here, which is the World Mission International Worship Center and with branches in several countries. But the Lord, in the past 30 years, God has been preparing me. I've gone to many Bible colleges. I've gone to, I went to FGBI, Bamada, Cameroon. I went to Nigeria, Ibadan International Leadership Training School in Ibadan by Dr. Obert. 
I did a master's program with the University of Louisiana here. And I did a PhD, you know, in theology and, and ministry. But listen carefully. My greatest burden now is to see men and women with a call of God get the right training. So what I've done is, by the grace of God, we have World Mission International Bible College affiliated with University of Jerusalem. We can now offer courses from diploma program to bachelor's in ministry and the prophetic ministry and you know, doctorate and, and master's in uh, divinity and public speaking. Today we have a special program. We want to take Bible college to you in your home. Yes, again, to take Bible college to you in your home. Whether you are in Africa, you are in Asia, you are in Europe, you are in America. Many of you have a call to serve the Lord. I know you have a call to serve the Lord. They don't have the way to go to a Bible college. So what we've done is we put all the courses in, in books like this. So this is, this is one first semester. There are 12 courses here. So each book have, you know, each book like this is one semester program. So we, we mail the books to you. You get registered in the Bible college, pay your fees. We mail the books to you. You study from home. At the end of each course, we send you exam by email. You take your exam and we grade you. At the end of it, you are licensed and ordained. We have other books. We, we mail you these books to study at home. This, this, this for, these four books are actually two years classroom uh, work in a Bible college. So this, this is the first four books for two years diploma program. So after you finish your two years diploma program, you can decide to continue with your bachelor in ministry and prophetic ministry. Or you can continue to do your master's program in divinity and public speaking. Listen, our website is on the screen. Souls are perishing. Every year, every day you delay, souls are perishing. And the Lord is saying, my son, my daughter, when will you say yes to the call of God? Hey, don't delay anymore. Can you, can you see the signs everywhere? There's trouble everywhere. And people are dying every day. You have the message. You have the anointing. You have the calling. Say yes today to the call of God. Listen, this is your season. This is your hour. This is your year. Don't let this year pass you by. Don't say I don't have money. Take a step of faith and see God provide for you. Or text me personally on WhatsApp, plus one, two or two, eight, five, five, eight, five, seven, one. And listen, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Don't delay anymore. World Mission International Worship Center is dedicated to healing broken hearts, giving hope, and saving souls through the love of God. Located in Lanham, Maryland, we are called to create a loving and caring community for all people, and we are committed to see you grow your faith in the Word of God and to see you happy and blessed in life. We are strategically positioned in Maryland at such a time like this to be available to provide counseling, guidance, and praying, and believing God for a fresh move of God as never seen before. Our heart's desire is to see all men come to the knowledge of the saving grace of Jesus Christ. If you've been searching for a place where real people who have experienced the love and power of Jesus Christ, World Mission International Worship Center may very well be the perfect fit. You're welcome to Where Good Things Happen. We love you and are waiting for you in Jesus' name.